And so we take a moment to commend the brave men and women of this Ummah who sacrifice everything they have for justice, for fairness, for equality, for freedom. Our brothers and sisters of Palestine, of Gaza, who took it upon themselves to defend the Al-Aqsa and the Muqaddasat of the Ummah, who are at the forefront of defending the Ummah and its Izz and its honor and its dignity. We commend them, we pray for them, we congratulate them, we salute them. They are our heroes. We also congratulate those who sacrifice their time, their money, their energy, their profession, their job titles, their security for the sake of campaigning for Philistine. There are many who have lost jobs. There are many who've been, uh, who have been thrown out of their workplaces, who have lost their opportunity to study in some of the best universities in the world because they were campaigning and holding encampments and sacrificing everything they achieved. Can you imagine for a student to, le to reach up to the level of a place like Harvard or Yale or Oxford or Cambridge for them to to sacrifice in their GCSEs and their A-levels and the parents' efforts and then at that moment to put all of that at stake at risk for the sake of the Palestinian cause. Can you imagine the level of bravery and commitment and sacrifice that requires? These people are truly heroes and those who sacrifice their, uh, their workplaces sometimes because they have to hold the staunch view, the relentless view that we are regardless of where we are, so long as we are human beings, so long as we are Muslims, we are eternally pro-Palestinian, inshallah, and this will remain our stance, inshallah, until we meet our Lord, Rabbul Izzati Jalla Jalalu, so that we can show to Allah and say to Allah, Ya Rabbi, I couldn't do much, but what I could, I tried to be on the right side of history. I remain committed, Ya Rabbi, may Allah accept from each and every single one of us and them.